Hello and welcome back to the Conquiz series. Today it is slightly different Conquiz 17. Of course, it is a concept booster on quantum, but today we will be discussing something very special atomic units. It is the part 5 in this quantum series. Okay, atomic units. Uh, units. Uh, we are familiar uh, since uh, much earlier days or school days you can say and uh, we know that uh, any quantity without unit we cannot express it is meaningless. Uh, so primarily we focus on uh, these three entities mass, length and time we define some unit for those, those three and then the rest of the quantities are expressed in terms of mostly in terms of these three uh, and there are as we know uh, three systems uh, usually are there. CGS, FPS, MKS systems. So, everyone uh, knows that. But then comes SI unit, right. Uh, for example, in SI unit, I have deliberately taken three uh, important examples, uh, three universal constant, uh, R, uh, universal gas constant. Uh, if, if you follow the, uh, the unit, uh, mole inverse in all three. Uh, usually, we miss some time, particularly for Avogadro constant, uh, taking it as just as a number, but actually there is some unit and it is more numbers in SI, okay, uh, and then Faraday. So, uh, this is about SI unit, but in quantum mechanics, we use a different set of, usually a different set of units called atomic units, okay. So, atomic units. Uh, here we focus primarily on three or four quantities mass, charge and angular momentum. Length is missing here initially you see uh, and let us see how do we define one atomic unit of these quantities and what are its uh, their equivalent in SI unit. So, mass taken as one atomic unit is the mass of electron which is you know uh, in SI unit the mass is kg charge it is taken one as protons charge which is in SI coulomb and then angular momentum uh, h bar is taken as one atomic unit uh, kg meter square second inverse is the SI unit. And the fourth important quantity is permittivity 4 pi epsilon 0 is taken as one atomic unit. So, these are the things that we have defined as one atomic unit. Okay? Uh, one thing before I go further, uh, there is some confusion sometimes mass uh, atomic unit versus atomic mass unit. So, that we have to make it very clear that one atomic mass unit is actually one twelfth of uh, mass of a single C12 carbon atom. So, what is that mass one single C12 carbon atom? It is you know gram atom is 12 gram. And in one gram atom, there are Avogadro number of uh, atoms. So, a single atom is 12 by Avogadro number and 1 twelfth of this mass. So, 1 by 12 into 12 by Na. Uh, so, this is the atomic unit, atomic mass unit, and it comes out to be this kg. Okay? But atomic unit is, uh, as you know, that it is the mass of electron, and that is. Uh, quite different from this mass, right. So, atomic mass unit and atomic units are not the same. So, what you see that by our definition m e e h bar and 4 pi epsilon 0 numerical values of all are 1 in atomic unit, right. Uh, Schrodinger equation if we look at it, uh, what it looks in atomic unit. So, this is the uh, usual form. Now, here you see mass is electrons mass uh, if you just ignore the uh, nuclear mass. So, mu is actually m e and 4 pi epsilon 0 e m e all are 1. So, if you put all are 1 then it reduces to this form. So, an h bar is also 1 in atomic unit. So, this is the final Schrodinger equation in uh, atomic unit, but one thing to uh, keep it in mind that R used here is in atomic unit, but we have not mentioned so far uh, what about R in atomic 
cubic uh, and what is that length in atomic cubic right. So, let us try to understand uh, this is given a name one atomic unit of length is one pore, uh, but the question remains and what is that right and it is defined as the bore radius A0 is one atomic unit ok. So, by dimension at least we have to verify that uh, uh, A0 uh, the way we express usually whether in atomic unit finally A0 gives you 1 or not. So, let us verify A0 the expression from uh, A0 is this. Now, if you notice carefully that all the terms 4 pi epsilon 0, H bar Me and E all are 1 in atomic unit. So, A0 is of course 1, it has the numerical value 1 in atomic unit and it can be shown that actually this uh, turns out to be 0 0.529 angstrom that we know. And similarly, one atomic unit of electric dipole moment if you want to define, so E into A uh, that is E is 1 and A0 is 1, so that is the atomic unit and it can be shown that uh, its SI value is correspondingly is this Coulomb meter. Okay. Now, what about energy in atomic unit? Okay. So, let us see it from a different perspective. Uh, first of all, it is given a name again and it is called one Hartree is one atomic unit. Hartree E suffix small h one Hartree. And what is that? So, now you look at the energy ground state energy of hydrogen atom. This comes as the, uh, minus half e square by 4 pi epsilon 0 s bar. Okay. Now, you see this quantity if you take e 1, 4 pi epsilon 0, 1, a 0, 1 all in atomic unit. So, this whole quantity e gives you 1, right. So, e h is minus half into 1 and that is actually the Hartree definition. 1 Hartree is actually equal to this unit. So, uh, we get uh, that uh, E H. Uh, so, these are 1 uh, E H 1 Hartree is actually 1 atomic unit and so E capital H that is hydrogen atom ground state energy is minus half atomic unit or you can say minus half Hartree. Okay. Uh, so, E H is minus half Hartree. So, you can uh, get the uh, reverse calculation also that is uh, then E H is minus 2 into E of capital H. So, minus 2 into capital H. Okay. So, as we know that E capital H uh, that is uh, the minus 13.6 electron volt. So, finally, it gives you 27.211 electron volt that is equal to 1 half. Okay. Uh, now, one important point it is still left time. Time in atomic unit. Okay. What about time? So, uh, in fact, time not only time, but any other quantity of desired dimension, what we do usually uh, to get the its atomic unit, uh, we, we combine uh, these four quantities E, M, E, H bar and 4 pi epsilon all are 1 in atomic unit. So, we combine in such a way that in taking the product of powers of this quantity, this four quantity uh, accordingly, so that I get the desired dimension of the quantity I am asking for. Okay. And by that way, we can get the uh, atomic unit equivalent of time. So, uh, so what are the dimension of this four quantity? Let us see first. H bar is a, a unit of action, right? Uh, energy into second, uh, and it can be shown. In H bar is like this: m e, okay, mass, e, charge, and four pi epsilon zero. It turns out to be q square m inverse l to the power minus t t square. So, how? Let, uh, let us uh, accept it for the time being, we will show it later on. Okay. So, now uh, the strategy that I want the dimension of t time and combining product of power of this four quantity E, M, E, H bar and 4 pi epsilon. So, I have taken the unknown power A, B, C and D. Okay. Now, uh, we will compare left hand side, right hand side one by one term wise, uh, how we can compare? Okay. Before that, uh, let us put the unit h bar is this to the power a, uh, m to the power b, 
charge to the power c and this whole 4 pi epsilon 0 is this one so whole to the power d right now we can compare uh, for four quantities uh, q m l and t uh, mind that that on your left uh, there is no q m or l only t is there so if we compare we will get some equations uh, where left hand side is zero because say for example m so there is no m in the left hand side so coefficient is zero uh, but here m to the power a and b so a plus b and here m to the power minus d right so a plus b minus d from right and from left this zero similarly you get 0 for L and 0 for uh, Q, the last one. Only T, left hand side T, so it is 1, and right hand side T is here only and uh, here. So minus A, T to the power minus A, that is a minus A, and here 2D, so minus A plus 2D. So what you see that uh, 4 unknowns A, B, C, D, and we have got 4 equations. So we can easily solve. And if you solve, you will get a equal to 3, b equals to minus 1, c equals to minus 4, and d equals to 2. Okay. So, if you put it back here in this expression a, b, c, d, then we get this uh, peculiar uh, or awkward, slightly awkward looking uh, expression for time. Uh, yes, it looks awkward, but we can easily show that uh, t by dimension uh, it is actually h bar by e. Uh, we know E h already, so we will see that in a while that why E by e h bar by E h why it is time in atomic physics. Okay. So let us see. So this is the uh, expression of T that we have already got, and uh, one thing that 4 pi epsilon 0 why this is equal to this that uh, we have already used and promised to verify later on. So let us now later on. Uh, uh, that we promised. So, let us now verify. Uh, so, uh, you, you notice that time is coming through actually this 4 pi epsilon uh, time. So, time is here. So, how it comes? Okay, let us see. It starts from Coulomb's law. So, force is q1, q2, 4 pi epsilon 0 and r1 to square. So, 4 pi epsilon 0 is actually by dimension q q so q square by force and r square so uh, by dimension 4 pi epsilon is q square by f r square now if we just put f is m l t to the power minus 2 and r square is l square so this is the right hand side for 4 pi epsilon 0 dimensionally and uh, and that is nothing but exactly what we have already q square m to the power minus 1 l to the power minus 3 and t square. So, it is verified that what we have used for 4 pi epsilon 0 dimensionally it is ok. okay. Uh, now, finally, to verify whether h bar by e h is time or not. So, time is this already have seen. So, now what we have to show that this h bar by e h is equal to dimensionally equal to this. So, let us uh, start from uh, the expression of E h. E h uh, it looks like this, where A 0 is there and A 0 is again in terms of these quantities uh, is look, uh, like this. So, if you put this A 0 here, then we uh, get E square. Now, M E square is in the uh, denominator. So, it comes here and in the uh, denominator now 4 pi epsilon 0 into 4 pi epsilon 0 h bar square. So, 4 pi epsilon 0, 4 pi epsilon 0 into h bar square. So, if after a little bit of manipulation, we can easily show that uh, a h comes like this and finally, h bar by e h comes like this. Okay, You can easily check it, verify, you can take some time, uh, you can take a break, pause and check it on your own, you will get it. So, finally, uh, we see that after manipulation, h bar by e h gives you exactly this quantity that we have already derived. Okay. So, two things we had to verify, one is the dimensionality of 4 pi epsilon 0 that we have done, another is why time is h bar by e h. Okay. Now, uh, 
uh, okay it's a equivalent value in a second unit is this okay a more vigorous way of looking at atomic theory uh, actually it comes in a different uh, way approach uh, the approach is nothing but to uh, attempt to solve schrodinger equation alternatively say for example numerical method and in those methods the usual step uh, needed is to cast the schrodinger equation in a dimensionless form in terms of reduced variables so how we can make that say for example energy reduced that means dimensionless is e by a we are defining a in such a way is of course a dimension of energy so e by a is dimensionless right now a is of dimension energy similarly br uh, has to be r by b uh, so that r r is reduced and dimensionless where b of course will have the dimension of length because r is length and a and b how to get this to again in terms of by combining h bar a me e n four by h seven one okay so um, and as we know that uh, a if we take one hertz to be a and hertz is energy and one its numerical value in atomic unit so that's why we take a to be e h and similarly b to be the bore radius or one bore okay uh, and uh, by that way we can evaluate the dimension uh, uh, less uh, that means reduced psi psi has some unit you know in three dimension psi has the unit of ln to the power minus 3 by 2 uh, okay you can explore why uh, from probability concept that i am not discussing uh, but if l to the power minus 3 by 2 is uh, dimension of psi then it's reduced psi or dimensionless psi must be psi b to the power 3 by 2 because b is length so ln to the power 3 by 2 and minus 3 by 2 so they cancel out to give you dimensionless form okay and finally a numerical values in atomic unit a few more example uh, say for example a proton mass uh, and proton is uh, roughly 1836.15 times of electron so definitely the factor in atomic unit if you write proton's mass then the factor would be 1836.15 similarly electron charge you see uh, protons charge is taken as one atomic unit. So, electron charge definitely is minus one atomic unit, right. Planck constant h bar by 2, h bar is 1, so that means h by 2 pi is 1. So, h is of course 2 pi, so the factor is 2 pi. Uh, one second, similarly, we can express that uh, atomic unit in second. If you put it, uh, then I get uh, this factor 4.134 to the number 16. Mm. And finally, speed, speed is distance by time. So, distance you take the atomic uh, a0, one numerical value 1 and time you have already seen h bar by e h. So, this would give you the atomic unit of speed mm. and its equivalent in SI uh, can be shown that is equal to this and finally speed of light. Mm. So, uh, we can convert the other way that if one atomic unit is this much of meter per second then one meter per second is actually 1 by this quantity in atomic unit. Okay. So, now we can convert speed of light uh, which is 3 roughly 3 into the power 8 uh, meter per second so you just use the conversion factor and you will get the factor final 137.03 okay so this is all about uh, on atomic units thanks for watching uh, our next video will be coming soon hopefully session 18 and that would be on advanced quantum uh, and probably it would be a true false type of uh, slides presentation. So, till then, please keep on watching, do subscribe, and encourage your friends to subscribe the channel. Thank you very much.